Up. Hold on. Hi, it's Lorraine Purcell for Fairy Godmother Monday. Welcome. Um, let's see. Oh, I do have my magic wands. I'm here to show you how to make your own dream come true this morning. So as you jump on, uh, tell me hi, where you are in the world, because we all want to know. And just a little bit about me. I've been doing this for 23 years. I'm a counselor, coach, and I work with people all over the world to help them realize their power to make their own dreams come true. So it's really interesting that um, I kept wanting to go to the beach this morning, but I'd walk out and it was cold. Okay, I don't really want to put on jeans. So I just kept hemming and hawing and moving around and then it turns out my neighbor needed me. I get to be with his little doggy this morning. Oh, poor girl. So I'm so excited. And it's like just following those nudges, following those, those little leadings that, you know, don't push against things that are the flow unless it's something really strong that you're feeling something about. So whew, let's just first start by just throwing down a grounding cord to Mother Earth and just checking in with Mother Earth. What does she have for us today? What is her message? She's telling me all is well. All is well. So what is it that you want to have come true? When we go into the quantum, the quantum field, by feeling the thing we want, we make it a reality. So you just go into the black space behind your eyes and you just focus there with the feeling of what you want to bring about. And what I wanted to talk to you about this morning, hang on, I'm going to have to just sip my coffee here. What is the vision beyond the vision for you? Like there might be a vision that you can't get rid of. Hi, Giselle, how are you today? Um, like I keep getting this vision that's a really, really, really big vision and yet it seems outlandish. It seems outlandish. And so, um, I keep trying to, you know, no, I don't keep trying to, but I, I keep thinking, well, it's going to go away. This vision's going to go away. This vision's going to go away, but it doesn't. And it keeps staying around and... <sighs> I am just surrendering to it, even though I have no idea the how. Your higher self, your inner being knows what, um, what your future could be. So what I want to ask you is to be brave and courageous enough to... He's so cute. I wish I, I'm going to show you Parker. Yeah, he's adorable. He's a little corgi dog. Um, go ahead and dream that big vision and feel it. Because if we don't, we just stay normal. I have no interest in normal. I have no interest whatsoever in normal. Hi, honey. So good to see you. So what is it that you want to be, do, or have? All we need to do is feel it as if and don't let go of the vision. Like Cassius Clay, he always said, I am the greatest, but he never stopped saying, I am the greatest, I am the greatest, I am the greatest, I am the great greatest. We have to believe in ourselves to win, not to play sort of show but to win. Do you have your own back? Every 
famous person that you uh, want to have um, that you, I mean that, that you look up to. They all they all stayed with the vision. They might have had moments of going, oh, I don't know, but they always came back to the vision. What do you want to name and proclaim? So all you do is just relax and just go to the black space behind your eyes or into the darkness of the universe and just feel it. Just feel it. Feel it as if. And just surrender to the, the beauty. Your amazing vision that was given to you as a possibility in the quantum field. Because oh. it feels really still and calm there. When you go to that big vision, it feels really still and calm. That's where we want to be. Really still and calm. Just feeling so good, just basking in a stream of well being. There's only a stream of well being. Only a stream of well being. And dreams do come true. You know, fairy godmothers. They um, they grant your wish, but they make you work for it. You have to do things. Like Cinderella had to go get the pumpkin and the mice. She didn't just sit back and have it go bing. So no, I'm here to empower you to be a superhuman. Just to be a superhuman. What is that dream? dare to dream it. If it's in your imagination, it's there for a reason, right? We're just going to imagine as if. Just feel your vision. Be courageous enough to feel your vision. Courageous enough to feel your vision. I'm going to show you Parker. He's laying on my floor. I'll show you. Can you see him? All right. Over there is Parker. Oh. There he is. <laughs> So let's just be in the stream of well-being today. Just be in the stream of well-being today. <sighs> stream of well-being. Stream of well-being. There's nothing but the stream of well-being. There's only health and wealth. That's the only truth, is health and wealth. Is that amazing? Oh, I'm having an exciting morning. Oh, excuse me. So let's just be in the quantum field together. Gather your dream and hold it to your chest. And trust that it's given here because it's a possibility for you. And if it's a dream that doesn't go away, that's because it's meant to be.
hope my bathroom wasn't too much of a mess. <laughs> I just throw it around. <laughs> well, that happens to be the finance corner of my house. So, um, actually, I don't throw it around. <laughs> this is Alex. Do you want to meet Alex? This is Alex, the owner of Parker. <laughs> you can follow me on Instagram at Alex C. Baldauf. That's B A L D A U F. I do stand up comedy, but I don't tell jokes over there. You'll have to come catch me at a show. <laughs> He's my neighbor. And there's this dog, Parker. Parker is right there. Yep. So, um,. The stream of well-being, if we're not feeling it, it's because we're cockeyed. We need to stay centered and trusting. So just feel it, the stream of well-being. Sure. Good boy, Parker. Good boy. Well, he's calmed down. So just hold the energy of your dream. Believe, believe, believe. Believe, believe, believe. And let's just send light and love all over the planet right now. Light and love all over the planet. Light and love all over the planet. Use your white light vortex in the center of your hand. <sighs> and certain spots will illuminate in your mind. It's so interesting how I woke up at 5.30, I'm like, the beach, and I wanted to go to the beach, but I kept hanging around, I kept hanging around, leave, it turned out my neighbor needed me, so just what are those nudges? So funny. <sighs> Just feel happy no matter what. No matter what. No matter what, you just feel happy. You can just say, I'm so happy, 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 and it actually starts to happen. It doesn't mean deny your feelings, but what can happen, especially for us as deep empaths, as earth angels, we can go into a downward spiral. Oh, I feel bad. I feel bad because we're picking up on everybody else's energies. We have to stay high and clear for ourselves. That happiness is the thing. Just hold it. What is the highest ideal of you today? What are two thoughts you want to keep your eye on this morning? Sorry. Two thoughts you want to keep your eye on this morning to be looking for. When I woke up this morning, the two of them were, yeah, that works for them, but not for you. And um, what was the other? I'm always after, 
I can't, if I hear I can't in my mind. That's, those are my two thoughts. But the more you analyze, the more you become aware of what your thoughts are. And that is a big part. Oh, he's just watching me. Just looking at me. Oh, right? Right, boy? Right? Is that right? Is that right? Is that right? Can you know this? Is Mr. Parker? Honey, yeah. Got some internet stuff going on today. Be sure I'm on 4G. Thank you.